we will talk about I have a dream of uh, Okay Martin Luther King, what is it? <laughs> I was, you know what's funny? I was gonna do I was gonna go, I have a dream. <laughs> I was gonna do that. <laughs> you have a dream. I have. Oh, I have a dream. You have two I have dreams. A, I thought two dreams. I okay. do have two dreams. Oh, Mal- Malcolm X too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I mean, wait. From Mr. Broke Productions, in an association with Maximillionaire and Vice City Kingpin, present to you Life on Easy Mode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you were watching the video version. Because look at this baby face. He shaved. Say something for us, Gian. How does it feel to be three years younger? Can I have a pan guy? Miguel, what do we name him? Uh, Cameron. <laughs> I think for the last five episodes, we've roasted Cameron at least once. We no, because him. Okay, Cameron, no. I one, I, we did once the dream. last episode. Well, no, because Cameron, um, uh, he was in my dream last time, and he heard it. And I would go, Cameron, listen, you're in the podcast. And he goes, I'm in the podcast? Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to... to um, daytime television. <laughs> daytime television. We're, we're the soap <laughs> operas. What the three <laughs> Por qué? Por qué? Por favor. Es das? Miguel? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Welcome uh, back, everyone, to... What episode is this? 18. 18. 18? Okay. All right. Um, welcome, everyone. Today, we uh, this, got... This episode is of age. Yes, this episode is of age. We're, we're finally legal. Wait, we're finally we should, legal. We should be sitting on a couch then, don't you think? Uh, it's only necessary. Maybe, maybe not. Nah, nah. three, three more episodes. Okay, all right. You know what? 21. Yeah, That's 21, 21, 21, just to be safe. Speaking yes. of 21, I turned 21 in less than a month. Yeah, and you, you know, turned 21 in less... No, a, a little month, more than a month. A month in like a week. A month in a week. About a month in a week, And yeah. I turned in like three, four you're, months. Uh, <laughs> he literally is the baby of the show, even though I have the most baby face. But uh, Miguel, you're the oldest here. What are your wise no, I, words I, of I, wisdom I, to us today, children? Oh, yeah, um, um, don't forget to beat the doonies down. <laughs> okay. Hey. Um, today, this today, this week, there wasn't really anything going on. Um, but we will talk about. I have a dream. Of, uh, okay, Martin Luther King, what is it? <laughs> I was, you know what's funny? I was gonna do. I was gonna go. I have a dream. <laughs> I was gonna do that. You have a dream. I have. Oh, I have a dream. You have two I'm, dreams. I thought two dreams. Okay. I do have two dreams. Oh, Mal- Malcolm X too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I mean, it, wait. It was Black History Month. It was Black Yo. History. It isn't uh, anymore. But I'm um, woman. It's awesome. Woman. This upcoming Monday, March 8th, will be, if you don't know, we do have a little YouTube channel. Um, it will be five It's years turning old. five. It's turning five. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about the journey on that and how Bur- Birthday gay. video? Birthday video? We're at 10.5K, shooting for 10K. Let's go. <laughs> I, I mean, there's nothing really wrong. Uh, you, he wants to talk about the, the thing that's passed. Yeah, yeah the bill. And then we do have... talk about the history of the channel first and then we'll talk about the other no, topics I, no, we, we can do oh, my dream his thing and then um we can do the 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 history and then we have our two matchups today for the movie bracket um, okay yeah we're back to two today i have my dream so last night i had a quick like i remember a little bit of the dream all i remember is um yeah, i didn't write it down because i didn't remember it but all i remember is that watermelon sugar just kept playing repeat over and over again i don't remember how this man is obsessed with harry Styles. that's what i said no today. yeah well okay so this is, I already told him this dream, and I marked him down on time. So this is the same night I woke up twice. 4.34 a.m. March 4th. I have a party. At the time, I have a girlfriend. She gets very insecure that other girls are there. So I kick them out, except for my close friends that are girls. My grandma is invited and bakes cookies for us. <laughs> All of a sudden, we hear bangs, and we find this mysterious invisible hole in the wall. When you step through it, you go to an alternative dimension in which all of us have never been born in. Once people, one by one, people from my party go through it. I have really terrible hand, writing at fucking 4.30 in the morning. One by one, people from my party go through it, including my girlfriend. I step through it to get a peek. I see a bunch of younger kids sitting at a table, and one of them is dying. I needed help. In walks Conor McGregor, and we ask him if he's ever seen anything like this, and if he'll help. He says no. <laughs> and then that's how it ends. And then this, I go, that was a weird ass dream. Realistically, that does sound like something Conor McGregor would do. And then, so this dream, I woke up. You know how you have those dreams that kind of, when you wake up from it, you, you're still sleepy, but you go back to bed? No. And you st- and you still kind of have the same kind of dream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you wake ca- up for like. So a it didn't minute. continue, but it had the same mindset in which there are people trying to kill me. Could you say it was? It took place in the same universe. Uh, who who knows? This is a long one. Oh boy. Mar uh, five fifty four March fifth. So this is basically like right in the morning. I go how in the future. 
There are men that I believe that are trying, yo, kill me, to kill me. They go into stop and shop, and at first we can't identify them, but we try our best. There's people walking. We're on the air. <laughs> they use a secret tool that if one used on you, your body begins to swell and you die. So it's like a t if they kill you, they stab you with. I think they either stab you, they cut you, and your body swells up. Okay, and that's how you die? Yeah, I okay. remember that part. I barely remember this, but they got everyone on their hit list, including me. I then awake. This is, I didn't wake up in real life. I then awake in another future where I'm at my uncle's and we are all getting ready to share presents. Don't know why. At this time, I'm sharing a room with Jillian Anderson, star of the X-Files. She's like one of the agents yeah, because yeah. I haven't recently watched X-Files. We apparently get eloped right then and there. <laughs> We are getting ready to share presents. And Ana de Armas comes over to celebrate. She tells me I'm in grave danger. I, I woke up in real life. And then I fall back asleep. In another dream that night, I'm in another future where the Simpsons coexist with Marvel heroes and other movie characters that I can that I can quite remember. Also, during this, I have split personality where my other personality is Harry Styles. I, you know, I don't even think that's a dream at that point. I think that's just you in real life. Something happens in the time continuum and a wormhole opens. I don't remember what happens exactly, but we are all forced to live on this one giant island because the world ended and we are the last remaining pieces of civilization. These houses include the Simpsons house, a school, a tree house, and other buildings. Millhouse's tree house, yo. People are trying to kill us with unnatural powers because we are the last of human civilization. It all ends with Harry Styles and me performing Adore You while Nikki... <laughs> while Nikki what? While Nikki is dressed up in a monkey suit. <laughs> and, McGill, and McGill finally plays the drums as we all shout Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga. Ooga what, the Ooga Booga. <laughs> what the fuck is my dream? That's how that one ends. You, what is with you... Hold on. Oh I have several God. questions. What is with you wanting me to dress in all these different attires? I don't know, bro. He's got a, he's got a Nikki king. I have, a, yeah, I have an imagination, bro. Oh, my God. It, it, your imagination consists of Ana de Armas, Harry, Harry Styles, Styles. Well, no, you... When, I me. Think when you told me that dream about when, with me and Harry Styles and, and Ana de Armas, I think my subconscious created that, probably. So, it's like a spinoff. <laughs> It's like a spinoff. I mean, the spinoff is never as good as the original, but you know what? Damn. Damn. Also, you know, when you said that the Simpsons and Cold. the Marvel... Wait, is that the end of the dream? Yeah, that was the okay. end of the dream. When you, you said the Simpsons and the Marvel Universe were coincided together. Yeah. I just That just reminded me of the Simpsons video game. I don't know if you guys ever played Hit that from PS3. No, no. There was an actual Simpsons game. It was like on the PS3 and Xbox 360. Oh, I remember playing the Hitman It was like a full-length game, and one of them was like Bartman. He was basically Batman. Dead and then like... Lamp. Homer, he had like I this. I think I remember that. He had like this inflatable ability. I never <laughs> played it though. It was super fun. That just reminded me of that when you said that in the dream. But um, <laughs> All very right. interesting imagination. I had, I unfortunately have not had any. Mikhail, do you have any interesting dreams? dreams yeah, I don't write them down though. No. You don't remember them though? He no. remembers them. Uh, I remember the um the ones where like it's like super like weird. Cause okay, uh, when you're younger. I remember a few nightmares actually. Yeah. But I. I I well, think nightmares like, I the, remember a lot when I was oh, a kid. I, have you ever had a nightmare where like it traumatized you as a kid? It was so scary. I had this dream. This I, I feel like it had been a recur reoccurring dream. But sometimes you can dream and then think it's you've had this dream before, but it really you never did. But I feel like I've had this dream so many times. I've it, definitely had the same dream. And it was when I was younger, and like it was like a Monsters Inc. monster, and I was strapped down on a table, and I'm like six or seven years old, so this fucking traumatized the fuck of me. He was so, the monster from literally. He looked like a cartoon character from Monsters Inc. And he would uh, swarm around and be like laughing um and then i remember one night i i remember like me like subconsciously saying i wish i'd never had this dream again and i've never had that dream ever again yeah, I, I remember at least you literally that told dream, that dream like, to fuck off i really mm -hmm. did you said stay back demon <laughs> stop i said i have the power of god and Man, harry on my side <laughs> no i had i've had many nightmares about this one thing but this one was the worst my mom had a friend named keith he was an artist he used to paint uh paintings for us Urban? and what keith Urban. No, 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 okay. no, it's okay. But um, this man was a painter and one of my mom's good friends. He had painted this painting for me and my mom. It was just a painting of just both of our heads. It was my mom's head and my head. He painted that when we were about five. I, I think I've seen this picture before. You have probably, I think, because you used to be here. So you, I think you've seen it I've before seen it too. too. Yeah, so for some reason, that painting, it, it wasn't even a bad painting. It was a really well-made painting, but that painting gave me the most like traumatizing nightmares when I was a kid. I had this one where... It was back in my old house in my old town. 
It used to be up on the wall in the living room. And the dream, what made the dream so scary is that it started off like a normal dream. Because usually when you're in a nightmare, you can tell it's a nightmare by the level of fear. Mm -hmm. But this thing got me because it started off like a nice dream. It was me and my mom. We're in our uh, living room. It's a nice, like, Saturday morning. It's a warm day out. We're just sitting there watching TV. It's early in the morning. All of a sudden, the painting comes to life and it grows like these giant Dr. Octopus arms and starts walking towards us. So me and my mom, instead of running out the door, which was right next to our living room, we run into her room. We get cornered. She says to me, she goes, Nikki, run. I'll distract it. So I like run underneath the painting and I run to the door and like, it sounds silly, but then the part that gets really disturbing is like for a second while as I'm running to the door, everything is completely silent. All of a sudden, I just hear this blood curdling scream from my mom's room. It's my mom. The thing is like killing her. And it's just like the most. Oh, How old are you? Like six. Jesus. It's the Christ. most blood curdling scream I ever heard. What did you and then watch? once again, everything goes silent. And I just sit there. I'm like, <clears throat> hello? All of a sudden, the thing just starts charging at me like Dr. Octopus. And I'm like, ah! When I tell you I woke up screaming, I woke up screaming. That sounds like uh n like uh what are those dreams? It, it wasn't it, that was something more than a, a night nightmare. Terror. That was like a night terror. I had those. What were you watching at six years old? I just I, want to know. He, he's probably well, I mean, playing Call of Duty at six years old. No, I okay, was one of those. Still, like, no, I was Call one of those Duty kids. I was one of those kids that had the TV on all night, so I would wake up at one in the morning to all those weird shows on Adult Swim, like Aqua Teen, C Lab Twenty Twenty One, Robot Chicken. Robot chi bro, Robot Chicken used to scare the hell out of me. That was violent at times. Oh that my show. God. Granted, it's an amazing show, though. All right. But, uh, yeah, I think Dream, dreams are weird. But uh, we, do you want to talk about quickly about the, the, the good thing that's been passed for us? Oh, oh so oh, so yes, we're yes, getting yes. stimmies, baby. Yay! Fuck uh, yeah. So Apparently. If, if you obviously file taxes, you're getting $1,400. <laughs> uh, pass barely, but we're still getting it. And it was passed and today. The, today. The, the, the day we, of this I recording. thought it was going to pass on, on Monday, but, but one of the senator was, senators was like, no, read the whole fucking mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. 700 pages. Yeah, you know they make those bills like extremely long mm -hmm. and it's like oh you have to read this 5,000 page thing they don't thing have like to read it hours. though but you uh, they you, just skim through it yeah yeah <laughs> but he, he was being an asshole because well, mm. I can understand why there's there's some unnecessary stuff in there yeah so but so that is good that, so that's it though it got passed by the senate what was mm. it 50, 50 to 49 okay so now it just goes to Biden's 9. desk to be signed uh, I believe so yeah because yeah. it went to the house already mm -hmm. Once okay yeah so just now Biden has to and sign it's it it's 1.9 trillion in my yep so even if so even if you're a dependent you still get it. Well, yeah, claimed, if you're claimed, right? If even if college you're students, claimed. if if you're claimed dependent, you're getting it. Yeah, yeah. it's just the only yeah. thing we still don't know is if it's going to go to us directly or if it's going to go to the people yeah. who claim us. I feel us. like it would go to the people who, if you weren't claimed, if you were claimed, it's going to that people. I feel like. Either way, listen. If I get fourteen hundred, I get fourteen hundred. I'm not complaining, really. I just that summer money, baby. Yeah. So listen, I'll I'll take it. You know, it only I'll took take about, it too, bro. Only took about you know hundred dollars. Only took about the one year anniversary of Shit, you know that's COVID all you lockdown. Had to say, bro. Yeah, a say year, less, chief. A year it's been. And we get our you know this is tax season. We're filing mm -hmm. our taxes. We're gonna get our taxes back too. And fourteen hundred dollars. It's gonna be a good summer. It's bro. gonna be a good summer. But really, like quickly, like a year it's been since COVID. Like it, mm -hmm. honestly, I felt like the start of 2020 at once quarantine hit, it went by so slow and then picked up speed. Like it had, mm -hmm. doesn't even feel like. A I year. say once like April hit, it flew by. I said no once no. Sum once summer hit, once, it flew by. Yeah, once June. For me, because I started working at a different site in April, mm -hmm. and like phew, that just flew by for me. Nah, March. Felt yeah. like I guess three it's a months. good thing because 2020 has been a shit year. Rather. Rather unfair year to say the least, you know, civil <laughs> unrest, uh, pandemic, shit like that. But uh, hey, we made it. We did make it, and 2021 is looking better because um, right now, I actually, quickly, we're, I, we're getting vaccinated. You know, ooh, we're getting and vaccines. This is actually very good because the COVID vaccine for Rhode Island, um, and now has fully vaccinated. So at least one dose is 214 thousand people, and fully vaccinated is 86 thousand people. And in the entire United States, I believe it's at 10. 55 million, at least one, 28 million fully vaccinated. That's so, so that's so we're, I think we're on track by May, June. How much of a per percentage is that? Like uh, um, that was yeah, that, that was for United States full 16.9%, at least one, one 8.7% for the, for the second dose for fully vaccinated. And then Rhode Island percentage, 20% of the population, at least that's one. That's bad. No, it's, it's it March. So I'm. By May, June, at least half. And at least half. That I'm should looking, be great. I'm looking at Worldometer, and since about early January, daily cases have been going down. Mm -hmm. It's risen yeah. up a little much uh, as of the last like few days, but overall, we've gone down from, let's see here, 280,000 daily cases to about 70,000 daily cases. For the U.S.? U.S. Oh, for the entire U.S. Today, or either today or yesterday, it was 58,000. 
So let me see because it says well it says here if I could get it up again it said March fifth was sixty seven thousand and then March second was about fifty seven thousand. Okay, so yeah, was, that was um, okay. Infected? No, not fully, not everyone, but currently. Currently, because uh, you're on the same site that I think. If you're on Worldometer. Yeah, I'm on Worldometer, so let me see what it says. But that's but that's amazing though because that means if if this is on the right track we could. Does, uh, granted, like we said before. It should. Um, granted, like we said before, I believe we'll still have to wear masks even into the be um, beginning of 20, next year. Twenty two. But, but um, I feel like restrictions will be a lot easier. Uh, a lot easier. I don't. I wouldn't mind have to wearing masks, but social gatherings will be okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Will bars and restaurants won't be as uh, distant. Um, we can finally have a summer. We can. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be uh, a good summer. Technically, we still kind of had a summer. Yeah. Well, not, yeah, but yeah, like, but there's not with. More uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But like, um, we we didn't go to like uh, concerts or anything. concerts or uh, like concerts, I amusement think. parks yeah. like we used to. Uh, I guess, yeah, but so I, it, it more freedom, more freedom than yeah. last year. Um, yeah. so that's it, a good. Thing. Last year was still. I think we had fun last summer still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, that that's a good thing though. So yeah. I think this is great right. because everyone keeps wearing the masks. So so this summer we're going to the casinos. What I'm hearing. Oh hell! Oh yeah, yeah once we're all are. 21. We're, yeah. Yeah, Vegas baby. Woo! Yeah, mom's looking at this like Nikki. Don't. No, I'm not gonna gamble. Nikki. He doesn't spend a single dime he on really anything doesn't. he doesn't need, he bro. He doesn't. I'll except, tell you that much. Except for today when we go to the mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's buying shoesies. He's buying a, you know, the upgraded vans. Upgrade. He's just gonna. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm gonna upgrade it to an SUV. Yeah, the wands. <laughs> can, can I pack a punch my vans? Please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I think today we're just gonna do talking about. If you don't know, well, actually, before we start, oh, okay. I just want really quick. I just, I, I, I did want to mention this. If you are a SpongeBob fan, the Patrick oh. Star show is now going to debut this summer. The show will follow a younger version of Patrick Star and his family, as well as returning characters like Squidward, Sandy Cheeks, and Mr. Krabs. I have a prediction. And Nickelodeon has issued thir an, a 13 episode order for its SpongeBob SquarePants spinoff following rumors of development last summer. So Patrick will once again be voiced by Bill Fagerbachy, and SpongeBob actors will return to voice their respective characters. The show will be the second spinoff of the series. What the hell was the first? Coincide uh, with second. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I think they're talking about, you know, how like Patch of the Pirate had those like little like beginning uh, shots okay. of the episodes. Okay. Um, is this before they meet, he meets SpongeBob or is it, he just says younger? Um, yeah, it just has a younger version of Patrick. So I imagine SpongeBob is going to be in it. But if you look at the photo that comes with the article, it doesn't show SpongeBob. Is, it just shows wait, his is family. Is that his family? Oh, that's I right. Like Patrick so. had like different, like, because I remember the one episode, like he was. That's right, honey. We don't have a son. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, like, why can it be like that? Like a hundred dollars. It's going to be watered down so much like kid friendly i mean obviously it's a kid show mm. but i feel like s between 99 and the spongebob squarepants movie the first one in 2004 after it, it's been kind of watered down because they were allowed to slip in not adult jokes but like you know some jokes that adults would be like uh -huh. <laughs> i would argue spongebob was really good up until about 2010 once those mm -hmm. like newer episodes came out then i it still was, think SpongeBob it was really Bits watered down. well i mean some yeah. episodes after that were still good but like i think the prime years were 1999 yeah. oh, to 2004 hands, hands down those first seasons but, are untouched and, including first the movie season. was I, th I love the no movies. i think all the movies are i didn't see the the latest one What's yeah it called? That, that was supposed to come out in theaters oh the Ga is it gary come home no sponge out of war no that, that was no the i one. think it is gary because Sponge Out of Water, that was. I like, saw Sponge Out of Water. That was you said that was. That good. was yeah. good. That was that was good. That was good up it. until the live action part, and they were like three D animated heroes. I, don't, I still I, like that. I like it, it's a kids movie. You can't yeah, really expect much. You can't. You it's, can't it's, it's still good. You can't be. Di I'm David Hasselhoff. Hooray! Where's your bo boat? Ah, ah, ah. Opens chest up. <laughs> Come on, Hasselhoff. It's like all these modern shows. It's like they save all the good jokes for the movies. Like Teen Titans Go. You said the movie was Yo. funny. Oh, the movie. See, the show is I hated ass. the show, but the, but the movie, movie was, was gr somewhat at, great. At the end, Robin goes, remember kids, uh, don't forget to ask uh, where babies come from. Yeah, and like, bro. bro. Stanley was in it. Yeah, and the Stanley actual was, Stanley and, 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 and he was like, movie. He was like, I don't care. I just want my cameo. Yeah. Bro, yeah oh my that God. was like that. I was fuck. I remember we went to go see that. It was 2018 in June in the summer, and we were like, "This is gonna be so shit. Let's just have a good time." We were like, "Because there, there was good, it was either that or like, what, what was the other choice?" Bro, I don't fucking remember. We should have put that in the movie bracket. Teen no. Titans. Oh, oh my god! You. No, it, it, it's not that. Okay, oh, it's not that. Yeah. But like, it's funny. Okay. Teen Titans Go is shit. We went into this movie thinking it was gonna be shit. I came out like, "What are the ratings on this?" Rotten Tomatoes had like 70. percent I go, "Wow!" Bruh. Like it was surprisingly good. I still had low I, expectations, I, but like, it's not. It's not like SpongeBob SquarePants animated movie, but like it's 
it was, I think I think we were the only teenagers in that movie no, theater. We were because we were. the rest were just like parents and their kids. And yeah, you we, like, we could just hear everyone else was quiet. He and me were just laughing. I think. <laughs> yeah, if father goes up to you. Where are your kids? <laughs> huh? Well, that's right, honey. We don't have kids. <laughs> It was a, it was kind of embarrassing though because like like yeah like, no dude, it was that's yeah, like a Toy Story yeah. four come on no Toy Story four is different bro it was kind of embarrassing because what what because with Toy Story at least with that like yeah this is part of my childhood of yeah. course I'm gonna see it. what what childhood like experience and nostalgia do you have with Teen Titans Go the original yeah. Teen Titans I, yeah I but Teen Titans Go is completely it was different summer we just wanted to see a movie yeah and that was the movie flying so we're like can't fuck it let's go see it yeah so. it was still funny yeah it was well movie that's all. bracket worthy no no. no. But, but uh, um, yeah, that's all I had to say. Just wanted to announce that Patrick Starr has his I own show coming in the summer. Down, I, but I, I probably, I probably, I, I low key don't want it to be a thing. Yeah, yeah, because it, unless it's amazing for some weird reason, which it's not going right. to be. Unless um, they saved all the jokes for that show and they didn't put them in the like new SpongeBob if, episodes, maybe. But if I don't, if I don't laugh my ass off, like if if IMDb prediction rating ready, five point five out of ten. I'd say. I feel like they're gonna be not as bad. Six point two. I mean, I was gonna say the same thing around All right. six. All right. So if you guys don't know, we have a YouTube channel, um, which has the video formatted versions of this. Um, you can check it out. You literally, it's with the Apple Podcast as Mr. Brook Production, but we also used to be called the Meme Lords or the Meme Lord and Co. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started this channel. What well, the first video was uploaded March eighth, twenty sixteen. That was also the same day we started the channel, right? Mm hmm. That's why I just said I uploaded the first video. Okay, okay, okay. you said so, a little weird. So, um, but no, it's been five. It's been five years of the channel. Um, if you want to check it out, you can. You're more than welcome. It is not for the faint of heart. Um, if if you have children, make sure they're not around. Um, yeah. Was, there are some jokes even adults would say. Okay then. Mm, mm, <laughs> like like you're like you're. Uh, uh, slaps car, you know, a little, little uh, oh. child predator thing at the end. Um, that we have some great videos. We have some. We, I think we should start at the beginning. Yes, let's so, let's well, let's do a timeline. So real quick. I think this is actually the first like this, because this was sophomore going into junior year. Yeah, this was sophomore. This year. was sophomore year. And I remember. This is this was... I remember we started becoming friends with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we had these two other friends um, who were with us, and so we just hung out, hanged out at Miguel's house. I think it was like midterms. We came after. Uh, I think it was midterms because I think no, you I made think we made that video in March. I mean, in January. No, no, it was in, no, March, it was March. March. So no, then, it was after was, midterms. So then it was after midterms. Oh, midterms I remember. I, I think no, I think what it was was we got out of school that day early. I think it was so, a half day for I don't so remember maybe what. Maybe I, maybe PTO. Yeah, yeah. yeah seniors? Some, some, no, seniors for, no. We were sophomores. No. I, oh, oh well. Um, well, they still let the. Senior half day when it was seniors. Whatever we, it was, a half day. We got out early. We went around North Providence and we yeah, went over Miguel's that. house and we were just playing with lightsabers. And I recorded the video on Snapchat. And I was like, "Screw it! I'm gonna use a pirated version of Sony Vegas and edit it with are MLG you, memes." Are you are you legally allowed to say that? I don't have it anymore. So okay, okay. <laughs> I don't have a pirated Sony Vegas anymore. He, he I pays pay for, now. He I pays. Pay, no, yeah, I pay, we, I'm he, a good citizen, he's, Sony. Yeah, he's a good citizen. Um, he, he was he was 16. Leave him be. Yeah, Sony said 15, go to Microsoft. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, and then as time went on, I screwed around with Sony Vegas and I made meme wars. Now, no, no, I knew you were gonna bring this up. Now, no, I vividly remember me and Nikki coming up with the idea. Of no, 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 I was get okay. So, private? yeah, we, we had both a, what did. was the group chat? It was it? It's not the same group chat no, that we have. It was totally different. Did was, we have? It was something else. But me and Nikki were like, "Yo, Gion, you should make like a meme because we were we knew you were yeah. making like memeified versions of everything." So me yes. and Nikki were like, "Yo, you should make a meme war." Or like something. Well, I think we didn't come up with a well, name. That's when Star like the Wars. Force the Awakened was still pretty big because that yeah. came out in December that year. Well, 2015. No. No, we, 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 we came up with that idea in Spanish. I remember it vividly because we were making so much oh, fun. That's right, because we we made a video. He helped, oh, yeah, he helped bro, make a that video. video I wish I, we could find so, that video. So basically, so me and Nikki like fucking made that idea, and I'm not gonna let you take credit for it. I didn't say I was taking credit. Yeah, I, okay. even though I edited all of them, but I'll, I did I'll not take, take your word for it. I don't remember. Why. But I think we all came up with the ideas though. So basically, we said we should make a meme version of Star Wars. We came through out some ideas. Meme Wars was passed around. And I was like, all right, let's do it. So it took me, I made episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine throughout the years. Um, obviously, they were the first of them. If you go watch them, they have th literally thousands of views. Don't mm. know how, don't know why, but that's what made the channel popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so 
they the first few we watched episode one the phantom memeans memeans mm-hmm. Mimian, <laughs> or whatever Mimians. 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 the tracking the fps is so bad because i was 15 16 Dude, still you trying could, to you could count the frames oh it's so it, oh let i tell you it's so bad it's laughable that's what our motto was towards between creating the video and i not now but like we still throw comedy in there uh, since uh, 2018 from then up until about i'd say last year we were like let's make it so bad it's funny yeah whereas so now bad. we kind of want to take a not like a serious even the side, but like we, we want to put more like last year or something like that yeah. some sketches are pretty good some sketches are are made to be bad like if they're bad we were like we don't care no, 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 we're having one. we're having fun <laughs> the, the meme wars meme fin in the award i'm gonna be honest at the end of that no not november video i wasn't having wait, fun wait, anymore but, uh, right, so <laughs> i was not having fun anymore <laughs> what's worse no not november or meme wars meme fin in the war no, not November for all me right, at least. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, because we're Wait. the CEO of Oh Night. my God, bro! We came up Wait. with these characters. We still have a universe. Basically, I said we're we, rebooting yeah. it, but we're not really rebooting. It's basically the same. It's basically the same thing. But no, like, I think we should reboot. I mean, you start, you have fresh. no. We we have we have villain ideas. I mean, it's still gonna be in the comedy aspect of things. Um, Black Friday was kind of a little bit more darker, but like the vaccine video, which I kind of actually liked, even though it was a very quick video. I did like that video. Um, and I have other sketches ideas too. I have other things. Uh, we have other things to come out. So, but. Oh. Oh, actually, before you continue, I wanted to ask you. So, is this part of the? Thing? No, yeah, this is oh, part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, when you were talking about the meme wars and stuff, now obviously that's what made the channel big. How many subscribers did you have before you up? If you remember, how many subscribers do you remember having before you uploaded the first meme wars, and then after you uploaded it, when so it started getting I attention, a, how many I subscribers? Made a, I made a video of um, five thousand subscribers thing. So that was I, I, kinda, I kinda remember this too because I'm. Um, now, granted, we, we don't have as many views as we mm-hmm. used to because a lot of people are, don't, leaving. are leaving because yeah. I don't post the meme more stuff. Now, right. as much as people want them, Star Wars is over. I mean, unless the, the Mandalorian, Mandalorian. I, I have, I've actually had some ideas for those. You so can do uh, I, WandaVision, I, call it Cosmovision, just be about Cosmo, Cosmo from the Fairly Odd so Parents. See, I came up with that one now. See, we're as writers. So I had 5,000 subscribers about a year after yeah. I made so, the, the Force uh, Awakens video. Okay. I remember this because uh, sophomore year, we didn't, well, uh, not sophomore year, but we didn't reach an, uh, a thousand subscribers until junior year midterms. Okay. Right? So it was about a year. After uh, a a year, like less, just under a year. So like 10 months. Okay. And then once we reached a thousand, we kept going up by a thousand like every other month. Mm-hmm. So like it, we reached a thousand in, in January, we reached 2000 in February. Mar- uh, and it just kept going and then yeah and I remember when he uploaded uh, your, this video was taken down now the meme world it was Jurassic World mm-hmm. no, that, the, got, that was down. taken down well unlisted I think you meme park it. oh meme world was meme taken world down. Yeah. that had over a million views mm-hmm. before you uh, because, unlisted uh, because it because copyright now obviously a lot of my meme war stuff like with YouTube some of them got past the copyright stuff because I put so much stuff on the screen and basically if you want to go watch them you can you can brace yourself but it the first few are really really bad and then I, my tracking got very you could tell my tracking got better over the years i basically made mm. jokes throughout the video i put memes and mlg stuff illuminati tracking. production yes illuminati yeah, productions that, um bro and then after that because hundreds of thousands of views and then my our sketches uh carrot man united airlines attack of the memes um the meme lords cringe mess um we found a dead meme in the forest which i really like that slaps upload button um you must you know, know the way, way. Um, <laughs> these are some of my favorite. The TikTok turkey. <laughs> it's oh a classic. God. Oh my god. Um, I think once like 2018 hit, like when we started doing skits and not so much as the... Even 2019, because I had How to Not Be a Simp. Did somebody say coronavirus before? Like when we started making jokes about corona and then we're like, oh shit. Yeah, um, that was before we realized Man how sneaks into the house, finds Chris Hansen instead. Mm-hmm. And then we took a break from sketches and then I did the Joker.mp4. Let me see. Um, Black Friday, which is a little bit darker. And then this vaccine. Um, and then and I did the Bernie the movie, um, which I kind of I, I just had it. I was fooling around. That and day. now it kind of looks like we're like a weekly podcast channel because like podcast. our our last but like eight videos have just been the we're podcast. Not, it, I I we're not. It's very difficult to make come up it, come up with ideas because here's the thing with memes. I would love to make them. I, that's why I wanted to do the Jake Paul the Jake Paul the Logan Paul and the the Mayweather video. Um, we still uh, have the, time for that. We still have time because the, the fight has been pushed back. Um, I think it's about June. 
Yes. Oh, good. perfect. So, but memes die out and that's the big thing. And mm. so when I uploaded a video, especially with the meme forest and Logan Paul, that was still going on for weeks. Oh. You must know the way this upload button on um, the slaps, the upload button. And a lot of people left because of the meme more stuff because I didn't make any more and everyone loved those. Now, as much as I love the fact that they got us views and made us mm. get subscribers, it's so tedious and so I'm not gonna say annoying, but very like it it, it gets in a way because at the end of the day when I'm editing I I have so much more fun editing sketches than, right. than putting right. stuff in front of a screen. It's it's now, all granted, it's all a matter of like what you enjoy doing. Yes. Like if you just don't enjoy <clears throat> doing stuff like that anymore, you know why that's, force that's, yourself that's to do it? Just like Filthy Frank, he stopped making videos and that's the thing. A lot music. of people are are leaving because of of not of that. Or, well, because mostly of that. Now, granted, we still have ten point five thousand subscribers, yeah. but and I noticed recently less people are. Um, unsubscribing. Not, unsubscribing. So that means we're get, like the less amount of people, the 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 majority of us, mm. the majority of the people are staying. We went from we went from a dying channel to a slightly revived channel, yeah, so <laughs> but still bleeding I out. Still, I'm still gonna make sketches. I still want to do stuff. I have ideas for the future for the summer. I want to make comedy stuff. I we're still on that track. It's just especially with COVID, we are not. I'm not saying we're very very busy, but like at this point, it's only the weekends that we're mm. all able to hang out. Together. Yeah, because here's the thing. I, me and Gian basically work like full time. You work like 30 something hours between, a week. Yeah, between uh, 30, 35. I work a fixed 40 hours a week, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday. So throughout the week, I'm practically not available. Yeah. Miguel works sometimes on weekends as like, well. I work, a few days I work in the weekday. 25 hours a week and then I got school. Yeah, basically, I work in the morning yeah. and like I am, and sometimes I'll have eight hours, seven hour, eight hour shifts. And I'm just like, okay, Whereas I need to sleep. Back in like 2016, 2017, we had like fast food jobs when we were in high school. Sonic. So we didn't have, I worked at Taco Bell. He worked at Sonic. Yeah. No, I didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't worry. You, yeah, you, and we were like, you know, we're using Miguel's house, and we're putting him to use yes. to make our videos. Um, so and Miguel's um, basement is a very uh, great. Iconic. It's very iconic. It will still be iconic because stuff will still be shot there. Mm -hmm. As much as the memoirs videos, some of them are kind of funny because they're the, the especially the early ones because of tracking how bad it is. But even the newer ones, I had some new jokes in there that I thought were pretty funny. It's very tedious to make. It's very time consuming because it's not my original idea. It's a movie, and especially with copyright issues, because now YouTube, especially between 20, when we started 2015 and 2016, YouTube wasn't as strict. And then mm -hmm. until 2016, 2017, copyright strikes went up on the roof. Now, granted, I have chosen less to use copyright music as much as I can, as much videos, um, but still they get copyright claimed. And we were not able to be monetized at one point because of that. But then I think because YouTube bumped up there, you have to have now 4,000 hours now. I think they kind of removed it because now we have more videos. I told them this like the other day. We have more videos that are, we have less videos that are copyright strike than there are regular because we keep uploading and uploading. So like the, the fraction is, is higher of non-copyright right. stuff. So <coughs> I love editing sketches. I think we... No matter what, even if we just come up with it on a spot, usually most of my sketches don't have scripts because yeah. I feel like if I feel like if they have a script, like a full on script, there's no I, I love There's no improvised. I love improvisation. Obviously I have a set story. This, this is I, where Nikki This is this is where me mm. this is where I this is where I disagree with both of you. This is where we like will always well, argue well, no, because like when we're making the skit sometimes, like and we'll be at a part where we're like, all right, what do we do now? And Gina's like, I don't know, maybe we could. And then you'll just go blank. So, and, and, and that's why I say, this is why we need a script. And then Miguel so, will say to me, improvisation. Yes, oh, I never. I, yeah, you so, do, so bro. What I do, I don't, I, personally, you're, personally, I don't care, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, like, but like, I you're just, more on the improv side, which like, it's not bad. It's just like, like, it's easy. Like, well, not easy. No, hold on, hold on. No, that's no, not no, what I meant. No, no, no. Improvisation is very. T I mean, we like, we like, definitely well, I mean, better. Well, we're naturally funny. I don't think it's that difficult. It's not that I don't mind not having a script. It's just that I don't know. It's just like, oh, let's do. We have more now, more granite room. To, when when right, you write I mean, down a. Oh, I'm sorry. What were I was doing? just gonna say like it's just like when it comes to improv. Sometimes like when we stop and think of a scene. Sometimes I feel like the video itself just doesn't flow as well. Whereas if we were to just sit down. Take the time just to write a script. We get we can come up with all the improv ideas so, and just so write it down so in the script. I'm, I'm, like, not, I'm not a script writer. Okay. Okay. This I, this man writes like three scripts a year and then <laughs> doesn't do anything with them. Except for <laughs> no, okay. So the black and then, and so I, wrote a script. And I, then you wrote a script like last year and you're still working on it, bro. Oh yeah. Well, actually, like, no. I write scripts for all my videos. My Wakati videos. My uh, videos review. I write scripts for all my videos. Well, the, now. see those uh, scripts. Writing scripts is a great idea. I. 
feel like for our sketches and but like for future projects like i would like to um the, the secret making a one-shot music video Ooh, secret Ooh, but like that is going to be more of like a very storyboard because that is going to be very high well, profile that's instead of writing he's going to draw <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i mean he's got a board right over there for it so but like um, I most of my videos recently after 2018 2019 I've written down notes for definitely I've had notes of where I know how the I want the video to end middle the beginning middle end I don't really necessarily have a lot of lines for people granted lines are great they are awesome most things should have lines yeah. but I feel like because we I'm not saying we're improvisation. If we went to an improvisation We'd class not that ass. we would suck ass but no one would laugh no, 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 no. I wouldn't say that nobody would laugh, but like, I feel like we're decent, but we're not as good. Like, we've definitely gotten better. Like, so yeah. much better. Like, I remember, like, we would, I, it would be so hard like, for me not to laugh. The good thing about improv, at least with our videos, is like, it is more natural when it's not like it's, lines it's we have to remember. It feels natural. I like, do agree with because that. I feel like when you write, especially with, I'm going to get picky here, but movies who write about teenagers or, or TV shows about teenagers, young adults, and I'm looking at them. Oh, God. And I'm, and I'm, A, they don't look like it. <laughs> Um, B, nobody in their right mind as a teenager says those things. The only thing that I think I've came close to was in 13 Reasons Why there was one episode where it felt like real teenagers in a real situation. Other than that, like freaking, this is, I, I had to sit through, my ex maybe watch, uh, P.S. I Love You uh, on Netflix. It it's, takes place, I think the girl's like 17. Nobody in their right mind talks like that. Granted, she's probably 20. Tom Holland, who play, uh, he looks like it definitely. He's in his 20s. He still he looks like he's like 19. He, de he definitely mm -hmm. looks like it. He definitely feels like a teenager with the way he acts, which is amazing. That's what people should do. But a lot of, like, R Riverdale, there's oh. just. Pe people said I use. I've never watched any of these shows. People you um. This very Jack dude, he's a junior or a sophomore. Apparently through vacation, he sleeps with a teacher and he gets jacked and he has ginger hair. Yeah. I'm like, no 16 year old, I don't fucking care. Kenny never even looked like, Kenny still doesn't look like that. Right, Kenny he's been working out for like five out. years. I'm like, nobody talks like that. Nobody is that serious when they're a teenager. That's why when I write scripts, because we're all young, we don't play older care. I'm getting very, very angry. That's why when, we, when I make st scripts about with people older it's a little bit different but because we're young things that we'd say should be natural and not on a, not on paper now granted when it's a movie that's a little bit different but we're making sketches comedy right. some of the videos are made to be bad improv i love doing because i love making us laugh especially with the cringemas video when we needed like okay i want to have nigel's body thrown because he's hiding right if you go look at the third cringemas video on the spot we're like how are we going to do this and i go why don't we just grab a pillow grab a pair of shoes and just throw it so and it, <laughs> it's so bad but it's made to be funny and yeah. we started dying laughing no like, it was we still hilarious die we it's still die hilarious laughing. but like most of our videos with meme stuff is meme relevant because of our generation and even after meme wars a lot of people still any any sketches that i really at least get like a hundred views now but like not like a few thousand like they used to or a few hundred like they used to because people want to see the meme war stuff and like i said as much as i they got us the subscribers that we needed it was very hard and tedious. That's why I was so glad that Star Wars is over for, for now. That's why I love making sketches. I think they're fun. Obviously, when I make sketches nowadays, especially after 20, 2019 now, where I have a set of notes, okay, this is what I want the video to be. We, If I need someone to say exact lines, I will drop them down. But I do like everyone coming up with their own ideas. Too. Yeah, well, with like, the skits, we'll like pitch in a lot of yeah, our like, ideas. Yeah, like that's what I love doing is like we'll pitch in the ideas because I, I love you too, but I know, especially him, he will not sit down and memorize a script for his life. Not right now. Maybe in a few years' time, but not right fucking now. Mm, nope. like, like I remember our early draft of um, Black Friday, he was supposed to be in it, and I and he wasn't originally in it because I forgot what you had to do, but like he was like, no, I didn't read it. And you didn't even read it too, but that was okay. No, I read it. I just I skimmed through. It. I, 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 I skimmed through it. So, um, which is fine. Like that's why I like making um, sketches. Obviously, would they be 
a lot more structurally better if it was scripted? Hell yes. But that's why... I just think we should leave scripts for the mo- more the serious. Really ser- the, the really like stuff that we're like, like really want to make. Skits were just fucking around. Yeah, that, that, that's that's yes. what we do like the, with the memes and jokes. Like, mm-hmm. The vaccine video, I told you guys, all right, I want to make this video. Didn't have any idea what I wanted to do. And still, it's pretty kind of... Yeah, funny. it was pretty funny. So, I mean, basically, that that's the history of the channel. I mean, like, um, we definitely... That was when we started becoming friends with you, definitely. Yeah, so, so I came from Smithfield and I moved to North Providence in 2015. So I started going to school at the high school here in 2015 as a sophomore. And then early on in the year, I became friends with you because we had like four days in. We had like three classes together. So I saw you everywhere. So I had class uh, with Nikki in robotics. Yep. Spanish. What was the third one? Or was it just two? I think I, Mm. you you and me had English. We had English together. I think it was just two for us. And I met you through another friend. uh, Remember Allie? I met yes. I met you oh, because of her. Out because, Allie. Yeah, so I met you through her, and then once we realized that we kind of had like you know the same sense of humor, that's how very quickly oh, we boy, became an atomic we, bomb we, was created. We, we, and we, then we, we joined we became, forces. Yeah, so then I found out that you were good <laughs> yeah. friends with Miguel. So one day when we were hanging out with the other two friends, Paul and Gilbert, yeah. they were the original people in the first video. We went over to your house one day. No, no his Miguel's house. My bad. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of just when the meme lore started. And for a while, I guess there's been some personnel changes because very quickly, Paul and Gilbert kind of were just like, yeah, we don't really care about doing this anymore. So then for a little while, it was kind of just us three. But primarily, it was more so just you two because throughout like majority of high school and a little into college, I didn't really want to do much of this stuff because I kind of wanted to be a police officer. You're just like... Uh, yeah, remember that? I wanted no, to be a police no, officer. See, I remember that would, phase, this bro. Is, this is how I would ask Nikki. Nikki, you want to be in a video? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, like... I still didn't care. Like, if you wanted my help, I would. But, like, I was never as active as mm-hmm. I am now at the channel compared to a few years ago because I wanted to be a police officer. But I, over time, as, as I've realized that's not what I want to do, I've kind of become more active. And I guess I've become the third... What do I even call myself? Meme Lord? Mr. A, a producer? Member. Mr. Broke? Member. A member? member an OnlyFans subscriber? Meme, meme member. Yeah, a meme, meme member. Meme member. Meme member. So... Yeah, I, I think it's about like maybe a year and a half ago I started becoming more active and involved with the channel. Probably I guess you two could say. years ago. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. yeah. No. So then that's when we kind of officially joined forces together. We would make scripts together. We would have help from other friends. And we've... And yeah. we've had a lot of other good miniseries, I think, on this channel. We've had Haunted or Not, which, which I think... Is still, which is going to be coming back soon. Stay tuned season for... Season te- 2. Well, well, kind of a season 2 teaser yeah. will be out yeah. shortly. Yeah. Um, and for that. honestly, I love making those videos. I love going to places. For, for, yeah. I love like doing the research. I and I, I even liked help editing like the Conjuring video. Yep. And so then, of course, we started the podcast because since I live in my apartment by myself, my mom suggested to me, Nikki, yeah, you know, make everyone. make <laughs> use of. Well, I mean, the I know I've already mentioned yeah, this before. Just in case someone wants to come knocking and be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. Nikki, you're home alone." No, they won't knock. I have the word on the air sign. No, I'm like, mm-hmm. that's right. It's, yeah, so, it's gonna be not there when we open the door. So my mom suggested to me, Nikki, you use up some of this uh, space in your house, make it like a podcast or something. And at first, I didn't think nothing of, of it, but then surely, but surely, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I think we could do a podcast. I think when me, Miguel, and Gian get together, we have some interesting dialogue. Um, so we then do. that's where that's when the podcast came about, and here we are, 18 episodes in. So this has kind of gone from like, all right, this channel's always been a multi-purpose channel. We've always oh, had like the main lord skits, much. bullshit, random like videos. No vlogs though. No vlogs. No vlogs. I try to so we've went that. from like. A multi-channel to a different kind of multi-channel. Whereas instead of like meme wars and stuff, now we have a podcast. We have haunted. Now we still have skits. Yeah, I try. Like we I have, said, we have shows. We have shows. Like I said, sketches are. I'm trying to. I, every time I have an idea, it then if, like this is like a writer's block. Like it comes in, and then like a few days, I'm like, I don't like yeah. that. It's writer's block is very very difficult. It's very tough. Because you're in a situation like, is that good? Is it is it worth it? Yeah. And then sometimes I'll just throw out a video and I'm like, nah, this is great. This is excellent. Yeah, and um, there's something, it's completely normal for like people oh, yeah, who create yeah. stuff to have like a writer's block. It, it happens. It, 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 if you don't have, if you're a writer and you don't have a writer's block, I want to know your secret. Like, and seriously. Like, and plus, if you're not like the toughest person on yourself, you never really get like good stuff out there. Like, yeah. it, it, like there's times where I'm like editing a video and I'll be stuck on one part for like 20 mm-hmm. minutes because I'll mm-hmm. be like, I, I, I know this is good, but I feel like What's it could be better. What's missing? What's missing? Like, how do I make that's, this better? That's the thing when you're sitting in Sony Vegas and you're editing, you're clipping like, oh, something's missing. But then, what like, I when mean? you upload it and you rewatch it, you're like, you know what? That's not that yeah. bad, actually. I did pretty damn good. But then good. when we watch some, like, the two videos, Nona and November, Avengers, Meme Infinity, where we're like, oh, God. <laughs> okay, no, those were bad. No. But, like, we didn't spend any time editing, though. No, well, we you didn't. didn't no, we least. didn't. Um, but, but um, um, yeah, and also, do you want to quickly talk about the reason for the name change? How we went from the Meme Lord oh, yeah, so, Meme Lord and Coach? Honestly, the Meme Lords, because I realized, like, let's say, hypothetically, 
basically hoping one day we get like me and him go to Hollywood or something like that. I go to Hollywood and they look up my name and it's associated with Moon Lords. Obviously, you're going to see other videos and stuff like that. But I'm like, I want something to be more unique that still stays with us. That still, it still makes us who we are. So we had a few, uh, like I think it was like a week we were talking about it and like we went through different ideas. It was also the same time we were thinking about the name for the podcast Mm -hmm. and we're like, Mm -hmm. Mr. Broke. And we're like, I you came it, up with that name, Mr. Mm, I feel like it was it was oh, between, you did? between mm-hmm. me and him oh, or something like that. Because I remember in the summer, like in July, we were originally talking about like changing the name of the channel, but we didn't have anything yet until I think about what was it, August, uh, September? fall, the fall, fall, yeah, so about like around like, September, October, like late, that. Late, yeah, early fall, something um, like that. So I came up with the Life on Easy Mode name. That was my idea, Miguel. Yeah, was, yeah. If you if you're watching the video format or if you're listening to us on Apple, you'll see our logo, Miguel designed this. I had, I had I had suggested the idea that it looked like a TV mm-hmm. kind of type thing. And he made the logo. And like when you see, it says even on the podcast, it says channel thirty eight. That's uh, March eighth. You know, March eighth. Yeah, exactly. The anniversary of the channel. So, so I guess we'll have like another special episode when it's episode thirty eight. I guess. Mm-hmm. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we'll tell ghost stories or something. Or, you know, we'll, we'll rent out a studio for that one episode. Ooh, Jimmy. <laughs> but well, uh, did yeah, you, that's what the channel yeah. thirty eight means. Now I I know this answer. Did you guys know that we would get this many subscribers and this many views when we were making this, making yes. these stupid videos? Yes. Uh, I wanted to. I, I think that was my mindset too. I, I was like, maybe one day. Because, like, as soon as, because, like, before a thousand subscribers, like, oh, whatever. And then, but then like, it hit a, us. A thousand a month, bro. But then, but, uh, no, you know what was weird? It was like, this is happening too quickly. I, I was thinking it was going to happen later on, not this, mm-hmm. like, a few, like, a year mm-hmm. or two down the line. I mean, every I channel have, grows I have differently. Some criticism over, over you. Oh, God. Because, because, he, for, because, like, I kept telling him, let's make videos. And for a long ass time, he was like, no. Oh, this oh, was yeah, way before yeah. the channel even. Was no, this was, this was this was eleven. We were at eleven thousand subscribers. Twenty eighteen. I remember he, that. I remember he that. Would, he took a hiatus for who yeah, knows what. Yeah, because. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's no, right. No, 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 no. But you took more than one hiatus though, because there was one time where like before before you did like the haunted or not teaser trailer, you didn't upload for like six months. It's because it's. It's because of also personal things and like when personal things happen to you, it's very difficult to yeah. to, to get those creative mindset. It really is, especially with I I hate. Bursting my own bubble, tugging my own penis, but like I am a very creative person, as my dreams would suggest. Yeah. Um. So gonna, it's it's very just gonna move away from the tugging. <laughs> it's <know>. very <laughs> difficult when I'm when I'm creative and I'm like I have nothing. That's why sketches and and um skits I love making when I have a great creative like idea and I have great creative ideas. It's just very hard to get them on the, um, you know, paper and being like, okay, what is it going to look like? I mean, obviously most of our sketches and videos, are, like we said, aren't scripted. There are ideas, notes jotted from each of us. Um, and then when we make them, we're like, oh, wish we did this now. Let me, uh, it says this in the notes. I'm not going to do that. Let's do something else. So and that's why I like doing them without a script. Cause we all use our own like ideas. Mm-hmm. So, and again, humor wise, we are pretty, we have the, Pretty th- similar sense of humor. So like, I think we're so it's like funny. when we all put our input, it's not like the video goes off in all these different directions. No. It, it's pretty. Like we have we, pretty similar if ideas. If we weren't funny, I don't know what the fuck would happen. <laughs> Dude, uh, well, I mean, like if we weren't, if we weren't like constantly roasting each other or like mm-hmm. trying to there'd be, be funny, there'd be no, another, there'd be no point. There would be no friendship. There would, mm-hmm. there would be nothing. Like I've known him You'd for be nothing eight, but almost my, seven, like, eight years. Seven, eight years. You five years because almost five years over that because of the channel. In the fall, it'll be six or. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think I like like end of middle school or like high school, so like eight years of him. So yeah. like, I mean, if if I lived in North Providence like my whole life, like you guys, said, I probably would have known you a lot longer. Mm-hmm. So, but we're thankful that we met you, Nikki. Yeah, even though some of your ideas and I see you, I humor see you. kind of sketches hey. me out, but that's okay. I'm I kidding. see you everywhere, Nikki. You do see <laughs> I everywhere. See you. I, I am his, everywhere. I see his face everywhere. Mm-hmm. Everywhere I go, I see no, this nobody, fat Italian. Nobody, Nikki. I am inevitable. I am inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there anything else we want to jot down about the the channel? That That's uh, we basically would definitely it. have more subscribers if we didn't take that hiatus. And if we kept doing meme more stuff, like I said, right. if, you know what? Okay, if you're watching us and you're a meme more's person, I hate it when people when the movie just is in theaters and like get it out. Where is it? Where is it? And I go, okay, two things. One, if I actually got it out, then that would technically be illegal because it's pirated, real pirated because it's still in theaters. So that's why I wait until the DVD or Blu-ray so that I can record it and do all that stuff, even though it's some of it's still copyright, but at least it's not illegal. Mm. And then people get upset about that. 
And then that's what a little bit pissed me off too. That's why I'm glad it's over. I mean, that's that's well, another thing that kind of. Uh, well, and, and I'll, I'll say this just so what you're saying doesn't seem like as like selfish. We're not like sour that we're no, like no. losing subs. We still are thankful that we, we got as, 10k that bro. we still ha that we got up to yeah. 10k as it is, especially with the videos we mm -hmm. uploaded. But like you know, I just want to please it, everybody. It's well, very, that, that's it's, not it's, possible. Well, you, know, you, no, no, exactly. no, Gian, Gian, listen to me. We you cannot we, listen. Hold on, wait. I, listen to me. You cannot have that mindset. Let me. I, I want to no, please no, no, everybody. No, no, I know. I, said, I promise you, if you have that mindset, it will destroy you. No, no, no you. I know. You want to. That's the thing. You want to please everyone. It's that's what I was gonna say. You want to please everyone. Even that. Don't and, go for that. You're not letting me finish. Oh, sorry. sorry, you, sorry. you want to please everyone, but you can't because everyone is different. And you, you just, it's physically impossible to please everybody. Yes. So that's why I like, oh, I, there's the Nemours people, but then there's us. But I, that's why I mm -hmm. want to do stuff that I like, which is the sketches. Those get views. Our Haunted or Not stuff gets views. Even some of the podcast stuff gets views mm -hmm. too. So Even though we get like two dislikes every Yeah, every yeah. Video. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. So Strictly two. Listen, Strictly two. E even dislikes will get you into the algorithm. Like mm -hmm. if it's getting views yeah. and getting interaction, it'll still just, get into the like, algorithm. Just uh, like Team 10. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think that's basically it for the channel. Um, yeah. More stuff to come. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe. It's basically in the iTunes or Apple or Spotify. Mr. Broke Productions just looked it up on YouTube. It's the first one, the three of us in the profile. Page. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you know. Right down the bottom right-hand yeah, corner, yeah, there's a press, subscribe press button. Like, yeah. There's something you there. Know, the, if it's the, red, you know, socials too, you know? The yeah. big red button. You know, yeah. notifications too, if you, you want listen, to. You listen. know, now that we're at it. <laughs> listen, red means communism. If you press the subscribe button, you'll get rid of the red. Okay, this turn video's banned in Russia. <laughs> hey, so... Uh, you Fun fact, my uh, most recent Wakati episode got banned in Cuba, South Korea, and Syria, <laughs> and Iran. Oh, yeah. I, I, I fixed it because it was a copyright thing. I fixed it so, you know, North Koreans right. can watch me now. <laughs> Kim Jong-un can watch Wakati episodes. Well, now we're done with that. We're going to quickly do the pot, um the movie reviews. We'll try to qu do it a little bit quicker this time. We, have, we, we started at a good time, I think. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, we'll, yeah. so we'll, we'll, okay, so. We'll just keep movie reviews brief. Yeah, well, also, we'll, not, well, not like, you know, quick, like, this. this like, no, you know, but yeah, like, no, no, no. Just, yeah, but like. But yeah, but, welcome uh, to our movie bracket review. Yeah, Insert yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler. 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 So we have our two matches. Uh, um, we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood versus 1917, and then Ex Machina versus The Prestige. So yeah, this is we'll a tough do one. the first yeah. one. I showed you Once Upon a Time in Hollywood recently. Last week. Last week. How'd um, you like it? I really liked it. I really okay. enjoyed I it. I rewatched it again. At first, when I first watched it, when I came out of the movie theater with you mm -hmm. and our other friend Alex, and I was like, eh, that's pretty good. Not Quentin Tarantino's best work, obviously. And then I rewatched it again with him. I'm like, wow. You know what? I, it's it's set a little bit higher for me. Granted, it's not his best work. I think, like I said, Pulp Fiction and Glorious Bastard is best. But this is like number three, number four. Like it's kind of up there because of that Golden Age movie review. Mm -hmm. When I rewatched the acting, I forgot how great the acting is. Leonardo DiCaprio, bro, I'm like, mm. holy shit. Like that one scene when he's in like the uh, when he's on the movie set. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he kept messing up the line. He goes up to like his little what are those little vans that actors will sit in? Trailers. Trailers, whatever. Yeah. And he like breaks the glass. He's like he's screaming fucking, at himself. You know he says himself in the mirror. He goes, if you don't get this line, I'm gonna go play your fucking brains out i promise you that like he was like i was like damn i think it's and another thing about too he can cry on spot oh he's Leonardo great DiCaprio. Leonardo he, doesn't, he doesn't need that fake Leonardo water DiCaprio shit DiCaprio is freaking amazing he's a yeah if you tell me he's not there's something wrong with you <laughs> but him and brad pitt in that movie are really great like mm -hmm. i forgot how great the duo is and with the proper makeup and hairstyle they do look pretty similar to each they other do. i'll give him that the charles manson stuff um it was originally supposed to be more of that but because the movie's basically two hours and 40 minutes quentin tarantino was like nah mm -hmm. sharon the sharon tate part mm -hmm. is great even though he loves his feet <laughs> the scene when she's I, in I the movie you. theater I told you, Mark. Like that's that's where I was confused too. Cause yeah, like, cause I then I told you it's basically an alternate reality if mm -hmm. they lived next to her before mm -hmm. because if they so, didn't, Charles Manson would have so, killed them. So so when when she said, "Oh, that's me," I'm like, "What?" Yeah, because right. because I didn't I didn't understand at that point. It was like uh, um. She was playing someone that lived yeah. in real life. I thought it was like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, like I mean, a fantasy. Like, right, yeah. Like, Rick yeah. Dalton and uh, what was Brad Pitt's character's name? Cliff. Cliff. Cliff they Booth. weren't Cliff actually. Booth. They weren't actually real. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's called Once Upon a yeah. Time. Yeah, so that's what, I just I just thought Sharon Tate wasn't a real person either. So. Yeah, but I thought it was great. Uh, Nikki, what do you got to say? I thought it was great. So what I originally thought Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I thought this was going to, like once they introduced Charles Manson, I thought, you know, I, when I first started watching the movie with you, I didn't realize that it was actually a fictional story. I thought like it was just going to explain what happened with the whole Charles Manson scenario from another celebrity's mm -hmm. impersonation. Because at first, like I, I never heard of Rick Dalton, but I was like, oh, he must be a real actor. So then when I looked it up and Cliff Burton, 
and it realized it was fictional characters for the movie. I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Once upon a time. Mm-hmm. So once upon a time. It's fictional characters in a non-fiction setting. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's like they use real life scenarios in a way and real mm-hmm. actual people for a fictional story. And, you know, movies have done that before. Oh, and I do think they times. did it really well. The only thing that I think they kind of just put in there almost, not for filler, but like, I, I, I feel like they could have... Just they they could have put a little more emphasis in is with Cliff Burton and his wife like they don't they Cliff only Booth Booth I, well Cliff Cliff something I, Cliff I, something we'll just call him Cliff we'll call you, him Cliff yeah. like because remember they only showed like one scene where he's on the oh, boat yeah. with her we don't know if he killed his wife or not yeah that's the thing they never I don't know if they if Quentin Ooh. Tarantino did that intentionally where like he never wait, 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 truly wait. specified if, like Cl- Cliff is Brad Pitt Brad right Pitt, Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt remember like he was known on like all these sets that he's the guy who killed his wife and got away with it. Oh, and they show the scene yeah, of him on that. the boat okay. with his wife, and the wife's like, I hate you. Why am I on this? And he just points the spear at her, and then it cuts. Yeah, so we just, never get anything about that. Like, I, I honestly think he'd kill his wife. I, I would assume, and then, like, maybe it made it seem like a boat accident. Maybe he could, like, I don't know, maybe, like, she tried to, like, escape and jump off the boat, and he missed her with the thing, and then, like, she kind of hit yeah. her head and died and that's drowned. What, I don't know, thing. but I think the ending... Oh, it's so good. He loved the, it. He loved it. So up until up until the ending, I was like, you know, this movie's pretty damn it's good. Very I tamed, like very very tamed. I I like the storyline. I like Rick Dalton's story, Cliff's story. You know, he meets that girl who's a part of the cult. You know, she puts her fucking feet on the windshield. I'm like, doesn't you know, shave, co- doesn't do- shave. Well, I mean, that that's kind of just how it was in the '60s. Well, Both mean, men and yeah. women, they didn't shave the armpits, <laughs> pubes, whatever. They just were like, you know, let's be animals. But um, exactly, literally. But it's a bloodbath. But it's a bloodbath. I think the soundtrack in that movie was a mm-hmm. fucking amazing. I love the oh, scene oh, when yeah. um, honestly, yeah, when uh, good. is it Roman Polanski who takes Sharon Tate to that party? He's driving in the car. Is that the other guy? No, nope, it's her. It's Polanski. It's Polanski. So Polanski, I love when they drive into the party in that one scene and Hush by Deep Purple is playing. I absolutely love that mm-hmm. song. Um, they had a few other songs. I forget exactly, but they were yeah, pretty yeah, damn yeah. good too. So up until the end scene the bloodbath it was pretty damn good but then when brad pitt was high as a kite because he took that special uh, acid, like the acid, acid cigarette acid uh, not cigarette it was marijuana no it was acid yeah it, but it, it was a marijuana it was acid no it was acid but like was it on a blunt or was it on a cigarette though it's it's, basi- it's basically a rolled up thing that's supposed to be with cigs or weed but it's basically um okay yeah so acid. Well, he took that at the end of the scene, and by the time those people broke into his house, he, he goes, was high as a kite. Huh? So yeah. <laughs> um. So when the dog attacks the guy, he just starts beating the shit out of the girl. The guy, it's a bloodbath. Oh and then the when, the, when, when, when the girl runs out into the pool while Leo's on like his pool listening to like music, he's like, "What the fuck?" So then he's like, "Huh? Huh?" She jumps into the pool. The Man runs ball. out to his pool shed, gets <laughs> the flamethrower. Yo, I fl- started dying. Li- literally flames her. That was oh. the best scene in the movie. Oh my god. <laughs> and then he, she's so she's. More more crisp, she's crispier than um, Ryan Kudish's um, burger. Like, <laughs> shout out to you, Ryan Kudish. No, like, he he likes his medium rare. <laughs> yeah, he looked at that girl or like medium well. Sorry, <laughs> if, if if Ryan saw that girl in this pool, he'd be like, "Is there any?" Cheese? No, he, he would aim the flame thrower. <laughs> no, right? He'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I don't think viewers would get that joke, but <laughs> no, oh my god, if you were there, you would—you just had to be there. Uh, but um, oh. so yeah, just wrap up real quick. Really great movie, yes. So uh, the colors, uh, yeah, the colors. <laughs> um, is there any movie that doesn't have good colors to you? Uh, 1917. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I liked uh, for. I'm gonna get uh, uh, hate for this, but first. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is my first Quentin Tarantino movie. I hate you. <laughs> Forever uh, Unforgiven. Okay, it was pretty good. Uh, I liked the story. Um, I liked the characters, the acting. Um, you were I think, confused because then I told I, you. I was confused because I was like, "What's happening here?" Like, is, is and it, I told you, I was like, "Basically, it's if they were there." If, if no, I, like, I googled it after. You didn't tell uh, me anything. I, you, told, you, I told you. No, you the were confused too. No, I told. Yes, you were. I no, I told you. Yeah, no, I told you. It's if Sher- if it's Rick Donald mm. and him were living next to Sharon. No, because I looked it up. I told. No, I, I wasn't there. So okay, don't look at me. okay. No, okay. I, looked, I, okay. I, rem- I I remember it differently. That's okay. No, I remember googling it after because I was like, "Who the fuck is Sharon Tate?" So then I googled her. Beautiful one. Yeah. Oh, you actually didn't know who Sharon Tate was? No. Oh, okay, wow. So that's why I Googled it, and that's how I found out. So Nick, Nikki basically took all the, the flamethrower. I think that was a pretty cool fucking scene. Even though he doesn't like gore and bright. No, it, like, it was pretty fucking funny. Like, no, he's, yeah. he's just, like, like chilling, and then 
fucking his first reaction is to get a fucking flamethrower out of Yo, a fucking thing. I mean that would be me. He's like he's I'm, like, yeah, I took this from set and then just like fucking it was Listen, it, if I had a flamethrower on hand and someone broke into my house, I'd use it. Oh fuck yeah. Like what the hell? And mm. another thing too with the violence in the end scene when he's bashing that girl's head in oh, onto the like noise. the, the, the oh like my the, god, I still That was up there with like Logan levels of violence. Oh my god. Bro. I was like Ugh. Yeah. Is that what you had to say? Uh yeah. All right. Now, and then still a good movie though. 1917. Yeah. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. this is going up against 19? Yeah, yeah. that's Wait, why what's going up against Do Sex Mark? Uh, X Mark's not versus The Prestige. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. That's, why, that's how I said it. Oh, 1917. I love this movie. The soundtrack, phenomenal. Making it look like a one shot, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. the, the acting, great. Mm -hmm. It's just, it kept you on your. It's when, The start when it kept you on your feet and mm -hmm. my stomach, in my heart in my stomach was when the two kids the two guys needed to bring oh. a message to the other side and warn them that there's a it's a trap or something mm -hmm. like that and to they, not like and charge they, or whatever. they cross yes they crowd um right. they cross over no man's land and they have to crawl and that's like when it starts like once that point and they're crawling the movie just it does not stop mm. it, i mean there are parts when you know it's very like um i, I think a few times it starts when that singing moment at the end um, which I thought was really cool when he like um, all the um, this one dude is singing for all the guys. Mm. It's basically like it's basically a prayer before you. Guys yeah, go I out. do. Mean, that was like That's really like chilling haunting. Scene. Yeah, it's 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 nonstop. The ending scene when he runs. That's one take. Mm. He accidentally bumps into two people. The camera kept rolling. Mm -hmm, he he mm -hmm. knocked back, but he kept rolling. That scene, that music. That oh, was like my, you could say that was like the best the, scenes in cinema history. That was like the climax of the movie too. Oh, and oh my god, god, it couldn't have been more satisfying. I was, that you I was that part I'm not shaking, but I was like, oh, it, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I will say I don't remember who I saw it with. Did I see it with you? I, I saw it so. with Kenny. I, I saw it in movie theaters. I know that. Where I remember I when that scene was there. Everyone was quiet. Everyone in the theater didn't, was like, "Didn't you go see it with me, Alex, and Justin?" I don't remember. I know no. you did. You went. You and me for the first time. You went to go see it with me, Alex, and Justin. So then it wasn't. I okay, so you might have seen it a second time then, because mm, I know Kenny's seen it a few. I don't times. remember. Who, uh, but anyway, I love this movie. I have it on Blu-ray. I will watch it if I am in the mood. It's a great war. It's a great war movie. As much as there's not blood and guts until the ending when you see all the people, mm. um, and oh, and then he has to find the brother. And tell mm. him that the dude died. That was sad. Bro. Mm -hmm. He's but, like, where is he? Do you remember the, the brother's name? The last name? I don't remember the name. Because names. when he started calling the last name, the brother who was like a lieutenant, he goes, yeah? And he was like, oh, you worked with my brother. Where is he? And then he had to tell him that he mm. died. Bro, I was like, shit, dude. All right, Nikki. So, I, I'll, I'll gush about this movie all day. But Yeah, um, so basically everything you said and... One interesting no, uh, point that you made that I'd like to emphasize on is that it wasn't as violent as other war movies. Mm -hmm. I think that's I think that's really the specialty of this movie because most war movies, the action scenes, the violence, the gore is what the movie heavily relies on. Save Whereas Trevor, Ryan. this movie focused more so on just like the intensity of when you think something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Granted, there were a few violent scenes like when that plane crashed and they try to help that like German dude and then like he oh, like my, that he's, he kills the brother. That was violent, but like. That wasn't the main aspect of this movie. Mm -hmm. It more so focused on like, just like the loneliness, like the the level of like the fear, the traveling, and just what you had to do, and just how it was back in World War One, just to get a message across. And I will say that is my favorite scene in the movie where he's running across in that one oh, shot. Oh my god! Oh my god! I listened to the soundtrack before yeah, I even like, saw that movie when like they showed that and like the commercial preview. I was like, I okay, love, what the hell's going love, on there? I love it. And um. And yeah, I will say that acting phenomenal, very haunting. The vibe it gives, very the way it made it, it made to seem like one shot, absolutely done phenomenally. And then the ending, of course, with telling the lieutenant that his brother died, very sad ending. But um, I really think it shows you the aspects of war, n not necessarily like, focusing on the violence. Yes. And I think it does that really well. Like war doesn't have to be all bloody and gory. Like it's war movies, just, at least, doesn't have to be always bloody. Yes, guts. it's just that like. Even in war, like the traveling of that, like the loneliness is scary as well. Mm -hmm. Not just the blood and guts. You can say like for a war movie, it's more of psychological than a violent movie. Because very, very like suspenseful. Very, very, very suspenseful very. because like that one scene where he's like in like that like like city that's been blown to torn pieces mm -hmm. and he finds that one like German lady with her kid. Yeah. Uh, and, French. Oh, French French, 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 my French, bad, yeah. my bad. That's sorry. But uh, yeah, she didn't really speak good English. But like, as you can see, like throughout the movie, once he lost his friend, he was like going alone on screen. You can see him more and more becoming like a little more messed up through the movie because of what war has done to him. So I just think the movie does that very well. Yes. Miguel. So I have 
<clears throat> even though it's an amazing movie, I have two things I have to say oh about boy. it. Oh boy! So so no, trust me, I okay. love this movie. Okay. This is the only this is the only thing that bothered me because because I'm a photographer, so I kind of notice these things. Okay. The camera when you when you notice on on like objects, it has a green and purple outline, and that is the only thing I did not like because that I didn't see it that much. You didn't see it because you don't notice it. As, okay. Because I'm I'm trained to notice it. I think so. It, I didn't see it either. Well, wow. yeah. If you watch it again, you'll see it. Are you they, sure? Yes. G- did you trust did you, me? Did you only see it in theaters or? I only saw it in theaters. I don't know about it in in DVD, but on, in theaters, it definitely that's what bothered so me. Like, what if throughout the movie, you watch it on like I'm not saying we have to, but like one day you want to watch it on Blu-ray and you don't see it. Then and then it's probably just a movie theater problem. Because that because we did see it in Cinema World, it might not have been. But like that's never best. happened in any other movie though for me. So it might just that's that's the only okay. thing. That's fair. So All I right. thought it, I thought it was like maybe. Uh, a side effect of the one shot or something like that but even though i wasn't really but that that's the only thing i have the other thing isn't really a bad thing it's just like while he was running in that iconic scene the people he bumped to was just like like you know how like in war like uh people would like um flee or whatever yeah so um when he bumped into one of the guys he's supposed to be running he just stays there He's oh like, wait! Oh, does he? he? Yeah, he's like like the guy that well, he bumps no, into. Just well, no, like, because just that wasn't, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, but so like, what is the actor supposed to do? Like, are keep we running? Rolling? Yeah, are keep we, running. Yeah, keep running. No, no, no. no so, no, so I thought, I, I thought I thought I thought it was supposed to be on purpose because like, oh, he's just avoiding Listen, running. If I was a background actor wait, and I was told to just run, if I bumped into someone, I'm just gonna get up and keep running because isn't it like if the you don't stop the scene until the director says cut, right? Mm-hmm. Well, exactly. So maybe the actor, I, I don't know. So maybe the actor probably just got confused. I thought he was pretending that he got shot. Like, that's what no, I no, thought. No, I no. thought that was pretty. Like, maybe he like shanked him when he ran by. <laughs> <laughs> he could be like, "Give me your money." I thought he did start running though. Again, I, I saw no, behind the scenes. No, I, I do remember that scene. I don't think he's. I think he kind of just yeah, dropped I, I, it. Yeah, because no. I laughed so hard. Because no, the behind though. the scenes. <laughs> The behind the scenes footage, <laughs> when you see the behind the scenes footage, I think when he does not, it takes him for a while to go back and running. That's why maybe you don't see it right away because there's so many other people running. Maybe he fell and he was like, ooh, a penny. <laughs> oh, shit, grass. Bro, I, I would take that in excuse. What if like, someone like just like running at full speed just knocked you like, oh. Oh, maybe. I mean, he wasn't. So like- then wouldn't the main actor be like kind of like. Well, well, no, but, but see, again, see that dude, he needs to again, get over. Again, actor doesn't okay. stop until director says cut. Unless okay, someone like so fucking dies on because set. it wasn't that big of a bump yeah. anyway. Yeah, he wasn't like full. So on I thought like, that was funny. That was, that was funny. The guy like is running and the first wave is going and he goes fuck. I need to stop the right, yeah. second wave. Like so, like and and maybe they said to him, listen, if you bump into a few people, just keep going. It'll probably happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I imagine they probably told him that because yeah. And honestly, I think it looks more like realistic like that because mm-hmm. like if he was like if people were running charging at someone, but they're like, oh, watch, go watch out for that one guy, and they're like, you know, duking him uh, and shit. I, I don't think it would look as like fluent. Yeah. So I think the most chilling or thrilling scene scene for me was when he was in that town as well, oh, and then yeah. he's trying to like like sneak through, and mm-hmm. then um he kills that one guy with like like a chokehold or something yeah. like that, and then mm-hmm. he has to kill the other one, and all he has is like a fucking Garand or or a fucking M one, yeah, whatever. And, if and I, then, sorry, what? Uh. Uh, and then, like, at the beginning, before he's in that, he has to, like, he's getting shot at with a fucking, from that one house. Mm. And then he, oh, yeah. And then oh, my he, God. And he, like, he, like, he gets him, and then he has to go finish him off, and he gets, like, knocked, knocked out. Does he hide, like, that, like, tower of some sort or something? Or, like, it was, it, I think it was just, like, a random house. House. No. I, I, and I, yeah, I, I remember that, like that one scene where he's in, like, the city, and mm. you, I don't know if, if I'm remembering this correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember when he was in, like, that abandoned city with, like, that French girl. When he would like kill the guys, he would wait for like an explosion in the background mm-hmm. to light up, and yes. then he would shoot him. Oh I thought God. that was so cool. Yeah. And then I think the only scene I have left is like when he's running away. Like they figure out he's not like German, so then he's he's running away and he jumps into the river. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yep, yep, yep. And then he sees like all the dead bodies at the bottom. Oh my God. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then after that is the, the singing part. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh my Oh, that's such a great movie. Um, I, think, um, I think we're ready to vote. I'm going 1917. 1917. Sorry, 1917. I'm so, listen, Once Upon a Time was a great movie, but I'm just... This, this, all these movies hey, you need to watch. Can I Can I say something? Yes. Mm. The colors aren't that good, bro. Oh, yeah. It's like a third criticism <laughs> yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not a third criticism. So, so, 1916 or 17 didn't have that so good of Interstel- color. So, 1917 will go up against Interstellar. Uh, so... Fuck. So now we're going to do Ex Machina versus The Prestige. So I showed you guys Ex Machina mm-hmm. the first time, 2014. I think it's a weird, not a weird idea, but it's a, it's very indie film. It's not a very indie film, but like a very like independent film. And it questions you about what would happen if like robots, AI, 
like what would happen if they were real like like if we became so advanced they became like what like that is the question like, yeah the movie like like do you think this could be real like that's what the um question i was having and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if this would be anywhere if this would be somewhat close to what would happen in the years like if ai is thinking about so spoiler obviously about escaping and not caring about whatever mm -hmm. real people think because at the end of the movie there's really no villain it's everyone has their own agenda mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the, like ava has her own agenda she wants to be free she doesn't want to be captured she doesn't care she's tricking um mm -hmm. uh, um general hux caleb i think it was i think it was caleb <laughs> yeah caleb. i'm gonna call him general hux um <laughs> tricks him and then you know poe dameron is there too um he just likes to have sex with his robots yeah yeah, um, yeah. but um he's not He's very intimidating, but not like scary. Into like it's you think he's intimidating. No, you, 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 but, but he you knows think, what he's doing, though. Yes. Here's the thing, like with with uh, what's his name? Not Caleb, the other dude. I, I um, <sighs> he wasn't like evil, evil, but like he Nathan, his name was sorry. Nathan, Nathan. Yeah, yeah. So like he wasn't like evil, evil, but like you still don't trust him, and mm -hmm. even out throughout the movie. But then at the end, one of the end scenes were like he. Caleb thinks that oh I tricked him ooh I'm gonna get him drunk one night and then like he finds out his plan because oh, the other guy is really smart and then he's like oh shit and then the tables twist again and Caleb was like oh I would knew this would happen so that's why I got you drunk the other night mm -hmm. so and then Ava um I think the acting is great Al Alicia Vikander this is one of not this is like her breakout role because then she was in Jason Bourne and then she's in a few other movies but like she was great in this um she looks like Natalie Portman a little too when when Natalie Portman had her head like short oh, i see it I not see with it. long hair with long hair she looks like her own it's, character but when like she looked like natalie portman in v for vendetta when she didn't like, have hair this on. movie like you suspect something's gonna happen and then something else happens it's mm -hmm. kind of like that um obviously she leaves he died like obviously i mean it's speculated that caleb would probably like die because there's no way out mm -hmm. um, even because that right. glass door is like unbreakable and then he fucks himself over by trying to um Get, use the computer yeah um you know he's mm -hmm. simping for a robot yeah <laughs> um you guys fell in love with the Korean, uh, the, the the Asian robot. I will say that I think she was Japanese. She was very beautiful. Whoever oh, no, that the, actress I, was, I, very yeah, beautiful. Everyone was. Oh yeah. Every, I was, everyone's beautiful in this. Listen, place. Nathan, Caleb, they're all beautiful. Uh, they're all beautiful people. people. The beautiful people. <laughs> the beautiful people. <laughs> but oh, what, oh, copyright. But what did you guys think of this movie? So, I liked it, and I, you know, like you said, it's it's one of those movies that made you question what would happen if humans were to make a piece of technology that was so advanced, like it was able to develop feelings, emotion. A logical way of thinking. Well, I don't think she developed feelings. I think well, she was tricking him. Like, well, like she portrayed it. Even, yes. even if she didn't have feelings, she, she was Pretending. she had Pretending. the ability to pretend yes. to have feelings. So in a way, she did understand how feelings worked. So like, you know, about, like asking personal questions about Caleb, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. And it's on Caleb for simping for a man-made piece of bro, hardware. Bro, Caleb, focus on yourself. Okay, bro. focus no, you on know, yourself. You guys bro. were simping at the beginning for the Asian woman, and then found out she was a robot. Yep, thank you. My, uh, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, Caitlin, well, you, you know. heard that? He simped for a robot. You think throughout like the majority of the movie that Nathan is like the villain because mm -hmm. throughout mm -hmm. the entire time he's that character that's like you feel like any minute he's gonna burst and like have like a violent outburst because mm -hmm. that one time when they were having dinner and uh, the Asian girl dropped or spilled the water, he like screamed and yelled at her. Mm -hmm. That just gave you like a hint as like okay, is this man like at the end gonna like go postal and just start killing everyone like a nutbag mm -hmm, yeah. because that's the kind of character he seemed like because every time he said something he was very questioning he was very like almost philosophical in the way with the way he talked yes yes by the end when you realize what ava's goal was when you realize that she really didn't have feelings for caleb at all she was kind of just pretending to have feelings so she would escape it makes you realize it makes you think was K or was Nathan the villain, or did he, was he just a man who just genuinely was a little nutty but wanted to do his research, and was Ava the real villain? But then you got to look at it from that, her it's perspective, it's where it's like she wanted to break free and she wanted to do everything she could to do that. So was she the real villain, or was she just someone who uh, a robot who? Well, in a way, then that makes you think like she must have some kind of feelings because if she wants to be to be free, one of the biggest questions is who is the protag who is the antagonist in this movie? That's the thing. It's like I, I guess it depends on where you look at it because Caleb obviously he's not the antagonist. I think he just had the objective of. See, I don't know, man. Passing the Turing test. Yeah. Listen, his objective should have just been to focus on himself. That's all I'm <laughs> saying. Bro. Bro, so a lot but, of people think the antagonist is like the world. Like if you think about it, like the like just the world like if you think about what like makes like like you have people who 
um, like a robot who wants to escape. You have um, Caleb who just wants to find love. Who, and then you have Nathan who is a scientific genius who not necessarily yeah not necessarily cares about himself, but is a very narcissistic person. Right, and like at the end, you could say that okay, Nathan isn't evil, but you could definitely say he's a little. He, he's mm -hmm. hands down, he's nuts. Yeah. Maybe because I mean, of just how in depth he is with like the thought nutty. and creating. Mm -hmm. Isn't as in every like fucking inventor. Yeah, yeah. Bit so nuts, so. But yeah. Well, what did you think? It's a great movie. So I thought it was it was okay movie. Um, better you know, than better okay. than Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Ro so. Robots are better than apes. If this, if this, if this was against apes, oh, this yeah, would have yeah, won. Okay, so. yeah, I see that. It had a better storyline than Planet of the Apes. I'll okay. say that. Well, so. all right, well. I, it, 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 it was more interesting for me. More, for more suspense. Yeah, yes. more, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I just kind of like the whole. Uh, I think my favorite scene for me, realistically, is when are you going to reach the state? We've been in the state for two hours. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you like yeah. the cinematography of this? I, I kind of did. I want to know yeah. where they shot that. That was beautiful. That I think location. I think it's. Um, I'll look I, it up later. I, wasn't it Iceland or Greenland? Yeah, or those Netherlands or something like that. Netherlands. Maybe something. Of course, like that. it's like so. somewhere near Scandinavia or something. Europe is the place to film. Honestly. Honestly. One of the lands. <laughs> yeah, one of the <laughs> lands. <laughs> but um, um, New Zealand. New you know? Zealand. But, um, I don't know the storyline. That's all I gotta say, bro. Colors with the colors there. No. I mean, it was mostly. It was like a facility. It was white. Yeah. All right. So you were stuck in like a research facility. All also, right. I will say, when Caleb was shaving, what the hell was he shaving, bro? <laughs> you. It's like you shaving. Well, no, at least I have darker hair. This man's completely I, uh, blonde. This I was man watching, was shaving his skin. He's ginger. Bro, or remember. whatever. The man was shaving his skin, dog. I said he was shaving his dignity. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you said that, I was like, yeah, what the hell is he shaving? <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, um, now, the prestige. The prestige. My, I could go on all day. I love this movie. We know what's winning. I we mm. I we I, I I hate to say it. We all know what's winning, but I love love this movie. Um, the twist. I Bro. when I first showed it to both of you, I okay. made. Sh no, hold no, no, on. No, 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 Define wait, 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 twist. There's more than one. Okay, so can I go first? No, no. Hold on. I, no, babe, babe. I will let you go first. So let, no, no, I'll let you, I'll I'll let you go let, before. So. All right. Yeah. After me. I mean, so, before me. All right. So. so, anyways, when I first watched this movie, this is after Interstellar. I was like, okay, I get to see Ever Christopher Nolan movie. I was like. What? So after seeing it so many times, I was like, I get it, I get it. When I first showed you, it was like last year, and I first showed you the, like a month ago. No, I saw. I you didn't show me it for the first time. You showed but you me, showed you saw bits of it. And I then, saw. I saw the first half. You never uh, saw the a ending. A few years ago, and then I had to do something because it wasn't in theaters. So it was I home. made sure I looked at both of you at the end of the movie, and I shit you not, both of their jaws, <laughs> like the twit. It's so. It makes so much sense, and I would think like you got it at first that he was cloning himself, that that Hugh Jackman was cloning himself, and uh, uh, okay, I have to say this spoiler. Okay, put this at the beginning. Spoilers. The Prestige. Really I know, but the Prestige is such a great film that you spoiling it for yourself is ruining it. That like you should see the Prestige. It's amazing. And then you find out that he's cloning. And I honestly thought you were gonna guess that that Christian that the, the twin brothers, the twin people, the the two people are both Fallon and. Um, Borden. I guess just about everything else but that in the movie. Everyone like, like guesses I, that except that. Yeah. Like, and then uh, and then you go and you're like, you, this is what Nikki said. He he goes, hold on a second, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I said I said I have several I questions. Have several questions. <laughs> and then it keeps going how he cut off his own fingers to just for a trick, and then like you realize that like it's the same set of narrative. Like who is the antagonist? Mm -hmm. And then the I believe the antagonist is magic. Like the devotion to magic. I I, the I would say the, I would say the antagonist is not so much a person in it, but I guess it would just be yes. like the idea of just how far people would go just to do the prestige, the trick and of like, the magic, just to make magic, magic. And like like um like a no David Bowie is Tesla. He yeah, was a real yeah, antagonist. A great, yeah, there's a great part. Um, yeah. but Hugh Jackman's thing is like just to see their at the end when he dies, just to see their faces is the most rewarding thing of all. And you can kind of see where he's coming from too, because even back then in the early in the late 19th century, um, like that's what probably magicians would strive for. Like th basically, it's kind of like a fiction movie, like a nonfiction, because magicians would most likely probably do that. Fiction characters in a nonfiction scenario, uh, basically. Like, yeah. uh, like uh, kind of like Once Upon a Time. Like, this is, I think, Christopher Nolan's one of his. I think this is better than Inception. I personally think so because the twi it comes not out of nowhere, but like it's so genius that when you re like when you two rewatch it again, if you ever want to, you're gonna be like, I have to rewatch oh it again. Oh my god! Like everything makes sense. Yeah, 
It, mm-hmm. Prestige is one of those movies where you have to watch you more than once. Phone. You mm-hmm. can't be on your phone. You can't be on your phone. You have to watch the same thing with Inception. Well, I mean, I guess Inception you can kind of in Inter- get like all mostly Christopher. I would have to definitely say Prestige. You have to watch more than once just to fully like understand and yeah. like at least follow along with the storyline right. because there are so many twists that happen. But I'm gonna keep yeah. gushing about it. But we already know what's gonna win. Do you want to go before yeah, me because yeah, you yeah, really want to talk about you. this? So, so I first saw the Prestige. Um, the first half. First half, I should say, before before you showed me, which was like four ish. When did it come out? 2006. 2006. It's an old movie. Oh, yeah, so then yeah. I, I probably... Never mind. 15 years. Holy shit. So I saw it like a few years ago for the first time. Um, The part that I remember leaving on, leaving off at was um his his wife dies and it was just okay, a little yeah, bit yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When she killed herself? So, yep. Yeah. So, or, or was it after... No, the bullet catch. That's where I... The bullet catch. I, 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 he, which, I left which? off before he lost his finger. Okay. Okay. So that's where I, I... So then I was like, okay, let's see what happens after here. So, um... Did you see it coming? Huh? I did not. Did you guess the cloning thing? No. Oh. Well, cause like, I didn't. I thought it was gonna be like a realistic movie. I didn't think it was gonna be like like oh yeah. clo- cloning and shit like that. This man, Hugh Jackman, really traveled a fucking overseas just to ask Nikola Tesla to do the impossible. Yes. And then my my boy Tesla was like, yeah. Yeah. Don't it, worry about Tuesday. it. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry yeah. about it, man. So 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 for him to come to take bring the machine. But here's the thing too, though. He was tricked into doing that. You, yes, because he, Christian Bale never did it. He mm-hmm. bored and never. He actually. I. I, I think oh, it's his. Right, bro- yeah. I think it's his twin brother because, like, it's. I'm pretty sure it's his twin brother. I, I, I'm 100 percent sure that's a twin brother. In real life, Christian Bale. No, no, mm. in the movie. Okay. <laughs> well, no, but they have different names. I, I, I know, I know, but. But yeah, yeah Chris, Christian Bale's character Borden, or whatever. Yeah, bored him. Um. Uh, fucking tricked him into going overseas for in the first place, thinking he wouldn't figure it out or figure come back with anything. And then Wait. when they're both reading the diaries back and forth, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so him wasting Hugh Jackman's time was something like like kind of ingenious too. And then he comes back anyways, like, oh, I can, I, do, this I can too. do this too. So, because I just. I didn't. I never expected cloning. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah. And then just like the wait, 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 and then shoots him anyways and stuff yep. like that. And then I think the thing that blew my mind was like, wait, how the fuck did he escape jail? And then he, I, 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 I. Any last words? Abracadabra. Yeah. Oh my god. And oh my god. Because because once once you realize they were twin brothers, everything else in the it movie, makes sense. Because like yeah. like it fits together. I, I remember vividly a scene where he's like, "Oh, my finger's bleeding again." It's because the other brother cut it off. Mm-hmm. And like, then, I love you, and not then, today. Yeah, yep. exactly. I was gonna say that too. So I I never got that until like when they found out at the end that they were clones. Where she was like. You don't mean it today. I don't know what's up, but you don't mean it do today because me? it was foul and it wasn't yeah. boredom. She, she goes, sometimes you love magic more than me. Yeah, do you love me today? No, not today. Yeah, so that's when you know it was oh foul. Like, mm-hmm. and, that, and, and when they were fighting and his daughter was outside and he had to be um, um, Fallon. Mm-hmm. Yo. M- Nikki? <sighs> I mean, you guys have basically said it all for me. It's one of those movies where no matter how much we explain the movie, the storyline, it's one of those movies that you just have to watch have to experience to it. it. Oh my God. Even if we just like, listen... When we said at the beginning of this movie bracket, Ex Machina versus The Prestige. We, we heard it before. Just stop, just stop the podcast and just watch The Prestige Honestly. if you can. It's a really, really good movie. It just shows you just what magicians are willing to do, realistically or, realistic or not, just to do that magic trick. Honestly, it's... And like I said earlier, I guessed everything that was going to happen in the movie, basically, because I was like, oh, okay, I see where this is going, except for the Hugh cloning. Jackman's that caught me so off guard the, because... The, the Fallon part. Fallon mm-hmm. part. That's what I mean with... Not the cloning. Yeah, when they... You got the cloning. cloning. Yeah, I got the cloning part. But I mean, like, when they actually dress up and changed yeah, characters yeah, yep. each day i did not get that because when fallon would dress up as his normal self with like the long glasses Christian Bale. no i was like that doesn't really look like him but then when i when they showed the scene at the end where he's explained to hugh jackman what he did and i and i saw them putting on makeup and changing their hairstyles like to look similar to each other i was like holy yeah, shit they do look like each other that's what I think. nikki's jaw dropped literally i was i was late you can't see it, but i was laying down on the couch watching the movie when he said that i went hold up you know, i need to sit up for this one <laughs> And I was just, I was like, like your heart's racing. You're like, oh my god. I was like, whoa. And then when he said abracadabra, so you mean to tell me that Fallon literally died just to finish off that the trick? Man literally sacrificed himself. And his final words are abracadabra. I'm like, that is so psychotically like dedication. It's 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 disturbing. It's, amazing. it's almost like a thriller almost, but it's it's absolutely amazing. The movie, uh, it's you guys basically 
you know, explain the movie story right. characters. That's all I could say just to finish it off is that very well made movie. One of those you just you just have to watch realistically to it's fully one of your get favorite the, movies. I would. Out of all the movies you showed me, it's one of my favorites. I would have to watch it again. I think to solidify if it's in. It's definitely in my top ten. I would say, but okay. to be in like top five, I would have to watch it. Same thing with you. Top? No, uh, probably not. I would probably say not? top ten, definitely, probably. Because again, I'm not that big of a movie person, so I haven't watched nearly as many movies as you have. But it's definitely a phenomenal movie. At least like a nine point like four out of ten. So um, like I that. think we should all say a th- uh, um on three, one, two, three. X Machina Prestige. Prestige. <laughs> 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 Nah, nah, nah. Prestige, prestige all day, uh, all day. Prestige win. will go up yeah. against the winner of uh, Schindler's List versus Empire Strikes Back. Thank you for watching. Um, Apple, Spotify, keep, keep subscribe to the YouTube channel. If, if you're, you're on YouTube, us, if you're watching us on YouTube, all our links will be in the description. Um, Miguel, I keep putting your Twitch link in there. You're gonna start streaming again. You, you get, I, what are you I got doing my it? I got my COD account back, so I can't. Oh, okay, there right. we go. Da, 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 da. All right, so I'm um, a mod on there too, so I get to ban people. Oh Wee! my god. Okay. All right, so, so Miguel, uh, Miguel, any final words? Uh. 1719. Oh.